Peter Nero, composer, arranger, conductor, and pianist. I'd like to call myself a musician and let it go at that. If I had any one thing that I'd probably always go back to, always go back to, it would have to be the piano because I started when I was seven, and that's my roots. Born Bernard Nero 53 years ago in Brooklyn, the son of a Jewish social worker. His mom was a teacher. For years, he practiced and studied the classics. But something happened when he listened to the music of Art Tatum and Oscar Peterson. Instead of pursuing a classical concert career, I went right into the saloons in New York and played straight jazz. RCA put out an audition call. Peter answered. I had a contract then right, right on the spot for three years. And that contract meant that they would turn out nine albums. Even if eight of them went right through the door, they still would turn them out, promote them, to build an artist. They don't do that today. After that came 23 albums, plus two Grammys, and a new Nero sound, a mix of jazz and the classics. In 1979, Nero added another title to his resume, that of director and conductor of the new Philly Pops. The bar before the B-flat bar, just double the time values. Four notes become half notes, half notes, whole notes, so forth. In other words, it'll turn into two bars. Same thing with violas. I really am at heart a musician, and I empathize with the players. So it's very difficult for me to be a tyrant. It's difficult for me to be a disciplinarian. So I really rely on a good relationship between myself and the orchestra. And what that amounts to is a healthy respect on both sides. One, two, three. In looking over his life, there might have been maybe one change. If I had a choice, I really would like to have tried architecture. I'm very good at math, and uh, I love to draw. That's the grass is always greener, because I probably, if I would have gone into it, found that I really love music more, I would have gone back to it. Edie Huggins, Channel 10 News.